Hello, welcome back. I am getting good at this. It's because I've got things to do now, you see, because we're going to a show today. I'm so excited. I actually am excited as well, and I think that's a really nice thing not to be terrified. Um, got a bit of butterflies, but nothing more than that, which is a really nice feeling. Anyway, so we're taking Obi and Zora to Berry Farm just for one test each. So Zora is going to be doing a novice test, so walk, trot, canter, medium trot medium canter. I think I know it, actually. Uh, and then Obi is going to do an elementary and it's a bit more complicated than that. Some sideways, some rain back, walking backwards, um, small circles, that kind of thing. So yeah, so we're, it's, what time is it? 25 past 10. So we're about to load Zora up. I'm just kind of getting stuff in the lorry now and we're going to head off. That road is closed. We've got to go a funny route, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it actually. I need to reattach a fluffy thing to the top of my camera because uh, it's fallen off and the wind will be terrible. So I'm gonna do that on our way. But yeah, I'll uh, take you with us and show you how, I get, how we get on and hopefully we have some good results. I'm kind of not really too worried about the results with Zora. I just want a nice, calm, positive outing. She's not been out in ages. My goodness, really long time well out to a show anyway we've been to some marina hire and stuff and she's never bothered so i've given her a calming cookie to make sure that she feels extra confident i've got a brand new hat to wear today so excited about this oh my goodness come on focus on the hat look at that have you ever seen anything so beautiful in all your life just trying to focus on my face even it's got my name on it bless george got it for me love him can't wait haven't been able to wear it still got the label on it look anyway i'll attach the link below for where you can get yourself one better take this label off actually uh so yeah i'm gonna go and meg has been very kindly plaiting zora while i was uh doing some horses with clients this morning i've done robin and Bell, the young ones, so I could now just go to the show, concentrate on the show. So yeah, right, enough talking from me. See you back in a bit. Go, I'll show you Zora all plaited up. Ta da! Yeah, bridle, check. Saddle, girth. Some fancy new boots. Are we planning just to put Zora's front ones on his? But there's always back ones on his front legs. Hat, saddle pad, spare hat, my boots. Uh, I want to check that box for gloves. They are. Gloves. The new, there's a new pair as well, no? Oh, okay, fine. Nice. Well, we'll take the numbers into the front. Here she is. We'll do a little top knot in her forelock. She's going to wear some ears because it's windy today. You beautiful. Look at these plaits that Megan has done. I'm not that good. Wow. Wow. You look so beautiful. Right, rug on. Let's go. Got this for when we get there. Got Uncle Obi's fancy therapy rug on. Oh, her tail isn't through the flip string. Okay, you're good. And we are off. I'm very excited. Meg was just saying that she's really stressed. She's taken my stress. So anyway, <laughs> you're right. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, right, I'm gonna eat a banana because I haven't eaten anything yet today. Uh, and we're gonna go. We've got to go a different way, but anyway. Right, see you when we're there. Lucky number 13, it doesn't even want me to look at it, look. Come on. Hopefully, hopefully it's lucky, not unlucky. Right, let's get tucked up. Look, matches on the jacket. You did it on purpose. Oh, guy. Nearly ready, nice little bum shot of Meg there. You ready, Zorzo? Yes. Yes, she says. Had my calming cookie, so totally chilled. Oh, we need those ears. We need those ears. One pair, two pair, three pairs. I have had to remove the audio from every single bit of me riding because the wind was terrible. 
I can't, I mean, I should maybe should show you a little bit, but I think maybe I'll talk about it later, but it really was blowing a gale. Here I am whinging about being cold, having, <laughs> feeling like I should have worn a long sleeve shirt. So I just wanted to uh, do a voiceover basically so that I can talk a little bit about what I was working on in the warm up. Um, so with Zora, I'm working a lot on rhythm, balance, consistency, really focusing on it being smooth. So she has the tendency to get a bit tight in her back. And so my aim for today, and I actually think I did achieve it, was to have her feeling soft. Now, there were horses screaming in this warm up. There was a horse over in that barn where the green panels are. It shouted and shouted and shouted. And she was such a good girl to go from our tiny little arena at home to this kind of environment with this many horses, with horses shouting, with the wind blowing. I, I just was so proud of her. She came and brought her best self. And watching these videos back, I feel so, so proud of the horse she is becoming. Okay, yeah, the it's quite babyish in the test, as you'll see, but actually. Her way of being and her way of behaving is just, it's just wonderful. Like, no explosive, nothing, nothing naughty, just easy and with correct bend. And it just feels wonderful to have a horse like that. If you see people having trouble all the time and, you know, I just think, wow, I'm, I'm really fortunate to have her. So here you can see I'm working a little bit more and having a bit more inside bend. So I'm sort of nudge nudging with my right leg. So yeah, really enjoyed warming her up. That was be a way of saying what happened. So right, let's go to the test and I will talk you through um, the movements and how she felt. I don't have my breakdown of my score yet, but um, I don't really mind to be totally honest. Um, so she felt very good. There was a big flappy banner um, that blue chip banner was a bit scary, so I was proud of her for coming round, and here I was just focusing on the rhythm, you see she's a little bit unsettled in her poll, and I actually think she didn't like wearing these ears, which is a pity, because they were very helpful when it came to the wind, but, uh, not so helpful maybe when she, maybe she found them a little bit uncomfortable, um, and nothing major, just a little, like a pole wobble, so then we come round, and it's S, F, change the rein in medium trot, and I was really proud of her here, she made a lovely shape, lovely frame, forward and then back again, I could have been more balanced at the start, 15 metre circle here, and I'm watching this back, I'm like, okay, yeah, it was pretty good, <laughs> but at the time, it didn't feel very forward, it felt a bit wobbly, so there you can see I gave her a little nudge with my inside leg, and I really didn't need to do that, and I'm a bit annoyed at myself for doing that, and I had this before where... I think because maybe they go a bit feeling a little bit kind of quiet and so then here I ask and it was good and I asked too much and so we get the medium and uh, so we get the canter and that's a pity because that should have been medium trot there. I'm just a bit annoyed at myself, it just looks a bit fast, you know, I just need to slow down a little bit and I need to be, it's really good for me to go back and analyse my videos like this and talk over them because it forces me to be really real about what was going on. Really pleased with that canter transition. We've been working on the canter transitions being smooth. Now she went a bit sort of pulled down in this canter. You'll see here she went a bit overbent. I'm like lifting, like come on, lift up, sit on your hind leg a bit more, but it is what it is. The give and retake was good and actually she stayed very with me so I was very proud of her there and god I need to also be so bloody hard on myself because actually she's not been to a show in like nine months so to go out and perform in this way in a sort of fault free way so here we did some medium canter and I was really brave I felt so that was really good and she came back really nicely and then she did break a little bit early there meant to trot at M but so be it. And then here, it's down to walk. And again, I just felt like I was just rushing a bit. Why am I trying to get it over with so quickly? And I've got to be tough on myself, so I'll be better next time. But I must not, I'm, I, you know, must be mindful that I mustn't be tough on her. And then it's the free walk SP. And again, this felt like it wasn't going anywhere. But it was. It looks super. And I'm there pushing for more. And so she takes a little half jogging step. Like, oh, am I not paying attention? Am I not actually, am I not there? 
poor girl, I'm there asking for more, and she's like, I'm giving you everything. Always frustrating when you watch back and think that, but it's all learning, and, you know, it's my first show back too in a little while. Nice transition, and I was really pleased with the transition here. That felt super. Really, I had a bit of a wobble in the in the warm-up, actually, in the right canter, Um just struggling to get right canter when I asked for it. She was just being a little bit, she picked up the wrong leg a few times. So again, the canter here felt a little bit on the forehand, not as on the hind leg as it could be, but I managed my give and retake without her breaking, so I was really pleased. So the give and retakes where you essentially show the judge that you don't need your reins. I mean, who are we kidding here? We definitely need our reins, but anyway, uh, for a moment, we can do without them to show self-carriage. So then we come to the medium canter again. I was really pleased with her here. She really felt like she took a lengthened stride. And then there she made a nice half halt back. That was really good. And then there I trot her too early. So annoying. I was meant to trot at A. Just felt like I was losing her balance a little bit around the corner. And so, yeah. So then here is the stretchy trot. And again, I'm going too fast. Why am I in such a hurry? Maybe the wind was making me feel a little more... <laughs> Like, like I needed to speed up and then there just didn't really balance here so felt a bit unbalanced but god I mean she's such a good girl and she tries so hard I just I love her a lot and I must be more mindful of how I'm feeling oh square in front not bad not bad I was really pleased with her, and but it's really weird. Sometimes you ride a horse in a dressage test, and they do something totally different in the test than they've ever done before, and that's obviously quite difficult. Like in the canter, she went quite little sort of down. She warmed up really nicely. There are a lot of screaming horses here, like more screaming horses than I've ever encountered. Uh, I'll do a proper debrief about it later, and maybe I'll have done a voiceover anyway on the video. But first impressions, really pleased with her. Glad it wasn't like any kind of spooking or anything like that she just did her job and yeah I don't think it'll be a particularly wondrous score because like I counted in my medium trot and stuff but that's just all balance baby balance so we can do that right we're gonna get home and then get back again with OB for my second test so windy face is like sand bug and the dust in the car park oh, right, all teams go Zora off OB on saddle we made it back to lucky number 13 it's now 11 minutes past one so the time is one 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 that's lucky uh and we're gonna go and get tacked up and get straight on element 53 let's go i don't know if you can see it on the video but there are like dust clouds oh not good it's like in the sahara without the heat i'm wearing two coats I'm freezing. Mr. Hansel? Ready? So I hope from that little clip of me wandering around in the car park you could get the gist of what the weather was like. By this point, it really was blowing a hoolie. You see the bushes in the background kind of waving in the wind. I don't know why it suddenly got so windy. It was horrible. We ended up having a terrible storm, but we need the rain in the UK for the grass to grow. So I'm not moaning, but it was not the perfect conditions for your first show of the year on a cob that sometimes likes going too fast <clears throat> anyway, without there being wind to push him along. So in my warm up, I was really focusing on keeping him soft in his back and running through some of the shapes in the test. Um, so yeah, he felt really good, actually. He felt very kind of bouncy and happy. 
So here I'm running through a little bit the shape that we ride in the counter canter. So it's a half 10 meter circle back onto yourself to the track and then up the up the long side in the counter canter. Um, and he felt great, actually. He was really responsive and with me and not too spooky. A little bit when that, um, there I am correcting a halt, the, the big kind of temporary structure over the far side of the arena when that was blowing in the wind he wasn't too pleased about that so there I'm practicing the halt and the rein back and he sometimes can be quite slack with his right hind in the halt we've um spoken with the vet about it and there's nothing that we could be doing in terms of helping him with his joints or anything so it is just training um so here I practice again and I was better still slightly out behind with the right hind but better than the previous time some nice diagonally paired steps in the brain back and then we go into the medium walk so the warm-up I felt went really well ready to go in nice and smart looking ready <laughs> and so here we go into the test so I'm gonna read my marks as I get them as I was on the outside I practiced a little bit medium trot and yeah I had to um fix something here you'll see I'm not entirely sure what it was something made him spook and I nearly went down the center line like that so I was like no crikey gotta stop so not a beautiful bit of riding but a very necessary bit because it meant that I still got a six and a half for my center line you will see though the first half of the test I am having to keep a lid on him you see here he's really spooking and he's rushing forward and I'm trying really hard to keep hold of my snaffle rein not the um curb rein on the double bridle because I want to be nice and kind to his mouth but at the same time he's just trying to run away so we've got six and a half um with a comment about the rhythm <laughs> obviously um and then here we it was then medium trot from s and um i got a six and a half and i thought it was pretty good but it said she underlined lengthening of steps so that's okay um for this next leg yield we got a seven so i'm really impressed with this so it's a down the center line and then from d was it L, the next marker? It's the leg yield away. So we're coming across the arena. You can just see I'm just kind of having to hang on a bit because he's so strong. He's like, come on, let me go fast, fast, fast. So not so good. A seven for our 10 meter circle, which is really nice because they used to be rubbish. And then a seven for our trot walk trot. So I was really actually very impressed with the fact that we got such good marks so early on in the test. Really impressed with that. The counter transition, um, we got seven for that, remarkably. Um, I can't read what she said there. That's pretty common. You can't read what the judge said. Uh, oh, no, we got six and a half, sorry, for the canter transition. That makes sense. And then we got a seven for the medium canter. So she was obviously liking what she was seeing because sevens is quite consistent. Seven is kind of you're doing it well. So, um yeah, this is all still a bit fast. You can see he's not really balancing. But actually, I think it meant that he was kind of uh, really impulsive, you know. So that was good. And I was really, really trying so hard not to let him do a flying change in a random place. So, um, yeah, we did. We got a seven for our second medium trot, which was really nice. And then I completely went the wrong way. I got confused. I was like, where am I going? I got a five. Not so good. But it was just one mark. And that was fine. And that was the end of that. And then uh, this, it then meant that this was rubbish, this um, leg yield. So I don't know if you can see, but his quarters go more before his shoulders. And I didn't correct it in time. So I got a five for that. Not great. Uh, and then we got a seven again here. So when the work was there, it was so consistent. And that is an amazing feeling. When the work was good and I wasn't ballsing it up because I couldn't stop or went the wrong way, it was really good. So then we got seven, seven again, seven, seven, seven here. So I was really pleased with that. It was a better counter transition, a little bit lifted in the nose, but not too much. And again, 10 meter circle here. I was having trouble with my reins. Seven for that again, which is nice. 
Really impressed with him with these sevens that we're getting. Medium canter, seven. It's just nice. It was on the button. Every time I asked for my I asked a question, the aid, the the response was there. So I was really, really happy there. So then it's that 10 meter circle. And you see I tip my head on one side. You see I've got my head slightly over to the right. This is because this is what I've got to do to keep my weight in my right stirrup to help him with that counter canter. So that was good there. And then we have to halt. And I was so proud of this. Look at him. Square as square can be. So impressed. I think uh, I got a seven and a half. The rain back was good. And then she didn't like the walk so much. Six and a half for the medium walk. Oh no, seven for the extended walk, sorry. And then six and a half for the medium walk. And it says more OT, oh, more over track. So that means when the horse's hind foot steps over the hole that the front foot leaves. I'm still learning about all of this, guys. Even though I'm riding at this level, I do still feel like it's all a bit new to me sometimes. So more over track. So maybe I wasn't going quite forward enough. Maybe I didn't have him quite engaged and through enough. So we've got a six and a half for there. And then, uh, yeah, <laughs> it says tense here when you medium walk and then turning onto the center line. And I, yeah, you see that, that little, <gasps> that was right where he had spooked before. So that's no surprise. And then here we have the final center line. So it's working trot and then medium trot. And if this felt really, really good here, and then we halt, square, salute, and we got an eight. And I was so happy to see that because all the way down that centre line, I was absolutely beaming. You couldn't wipe the smile off my face. And I think that's, that my smile must have been infectious because, yeah, she liked it too. I was saying in the beginning, I was basically just having to stop them from going faster than he was meant to be going. I don't think that was a very attractive bit of riding. I imagine his neck was about three centimetres long because all I had to do was try and stop him. I'm just uh, doing my spirit up. Try and stop him from galloping off with me, which he actually did do right before I went in. Well, he felt amazing. I mean, like hot and spicy. It's not quite what I was going for, but I've got to be grateful that he's feeling so good, like feeling like positive. Anyway, really pleased with him. Meg just threw the ears at me. And now we're gonna go get some chips. I can't wait. Oh, why? What is my life? Oh. As I get in the lorry, Meg goes, you got the camera? <laughs> and it's in my pocket. And I think she goes, I wish I'd had the camera. But for God's sake. Just thinking about how I'm gonna go and give Obi some, um, but I hope George doesn't watch this. It's gonna go mad. <laughs> Oh, still one left. What? Hello. Hello. Would you like a holly? First thing about this lorry, you can open the back. Give them lots of treats. You're a good boy. Probably could have done with riding two tests today. But very pleased with him. Despite the slight lack of brakes. But it's exciting to be back at a show, huh? We're going to go out again on the 12th. And then we've got regionals. So this was a bit of a regionals prep basically um so right. oh a drink yeah sure i'm gonna take my boots off and do a debrief while i'm doing it um yeah, please. Uh, yeah so this was a like a pre-regionals run as such as in i've got this show and then you can't take the polos off the side yourself sir that's not really it's not self-service but all right we can have some more because it's so cool and you made me smile as I put it down the last time tonight. So yeah, I mean, I just needed to get back out and get in the get in the test. Uh, so not un not unhappy. I mean, it could have been a bit more kept a lid on it, but 
He can't control the weather, and the weather I do think plays a big part for him. I'm glad he had his hat on. I also think we gave him his calming cookie a little bit late. I'm going to put it back in now. It's a little bit unsafe. I'm very good at that. So I normally would give him a calming cookie about 45 minutes before I need it, and I don't think that he had it quite soon enough. So I think that could also have led into the slightly anxious feeling. He, I, they, um, they make such a huge difference for him. He really, really feeds off, like it really works for him. So, yeah, maybe I need to give him two, and maybe I need to give it to them a bit sooner. I'm gonna go and enjoy my chips now. Uh, and yeah, head back home. I do wanna just add on here. Um, I've been given a short notice period on my yard and I've, I'm suddenly under a lot more pressure. So if I do suddenly drop off the social media bandwagon, that is probably why. Mm, it's pretty rubbish to be honest. And it's, well, keeps me up at night most nights if you can imagine. I might have to find a short-term solution. The place where I am is for sale, and so uh, the guy's got to basically have it empty to be able to sell it. It's something to do with solicitors and mortgages. It's kind of not. It's not my. It's no one's fault, but it just is what it is, and it's rubbish. It's what it is. So yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know what the future holds. I'm trying to be optimistic. I see it as an adventure. But for now, because I need some chips, a man is staring at me. Just got back, looked at the scores. We've already got 62%. It's sad, but I've got to be a bit realistic. She did go very overbent in the canter work. And so I'm very interested to see my score. I want a test sheet. I won't see it for a while because of COVID. Um, I think they email it to you, which is a great way of doing things. Saves on all sorts of things. Things. Hmm. Falling in my hair. Uh, Obi got 67%. And considering the beginning of the test was very much the handbrake was on. I'm really pleased with that. And I think... I don't know. I'm not going to tell you where I got placed yet because um, I haven't looked at it for long enough to work out if the class is finished. But uh, yeah, I'll let you know how I got on. I think it's already came fifth. And actually, that's not terrible because it was a really big class. So yeah, uh, I think maybe the judge was a bit of a low scoring judge. But anyway, I need to, I'll, I'll know more. I'll update you. So we're just going to uh, unpack everything. Um, and then I need to dash home and Zoom coach, which is cool. Um, so right sorting sorting stuff out so apparently i completely forgot to finish this vlog i am sitting editing it now i've been doing the voiceover on the videos and um i get to the end and i didn't finish it so obi did in fact win his class and i was so impressed with that because well i didn't feel like i was having a very good day um you know what with him being tense at the beginning and a little bit tense in certain places but actually Having just gone through that like I did and did the voiceover with each mark, I, it was really good. It was really consistent and it's so nice when we've been working so hard in lockdown. Um, we've been having lots of training with Claire and to see, to start to see those results in that consistent way. So it went like seven, 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 five because it was tense or I went the wrong way a little bit or whatever it was. That to me is really cool because then when I can start to not have those mistakes then we start to get to see better scores and we've got regionals in a few weeks time we've got <clears throat> one more show next Wednesday we're going to Bellevue which is where regionals is so it'll be really good to have a run through at the venue that we're going to be competing at for regionals um, in terms of Zora at the moment you know we're just getting her strong I need to get out some more shows but for the next couple of weeks I'm going to be really focusing on Obi I um, have chosen to not take Zora on Wednesday when I take Obi to Bellevue because I, he was a bit shouty at Berry Farm and I don't want him to feel like he needs any distractions. So yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling positive and we've got another training session planned with Claire 
just before regionals, two days before regionals, so yeah. So I'm just feeling really positive about Obi at the moment. He's feeling strong and good and he's had his back done and he's feeling soft and loose and yeah, I'm just feeling really happy about competing him and feeling prepared. You know, I, I had a ride through of the elementary test yesterday at home in our tiny arena and although it's incredibly difficult in the tiny arena, he just he just shows up. He just feels good in his body and he just comes to work on that day and it's it's really, really nice. You know, the groundwork helps him massively with suppleness and relaxation and then the ridden work is just thriving. So I just feel so fortunate to ride him and so lucky to have this opportunity to take him to these amazing shows and compete at this level. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Bit of a longer one, 28. Well, it was 28 minutes when I started this ramble. Uh, and yeah, I'll take you with me for the what we're going to be doing for the next couple of weeks. The next vlog that you'll see though is when I took Zora for some arena hire, uh, course hire, and she jumped amazing. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you haven't already, please do hit subscribe and like. It would mean a huge amount to me. And even more than that, it, tell me, tell your friends. That that one means the most. So yeah, thanks again so much for being here, and I will see you for next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.